When we try to get our words perfect in our content, in the way that we show up to the world, and we are trying to articulate ourselves very well and trying to come across as this perfect expert in a way that positions us as a higher level and so we attract higher level clients. Now, that is absolutely part of it. What I think a lot of coaches forget as they gain some more experience is that they forget about the message. The message is often tied to your own personal experiences, what you have personally overcome, why the shift is important to you and why you want to help certain people or an industry and how you're going to help them based on what you personally have experienced. So as an example of this, when I first started in business, I had come out of the back of a 12 year hairdressing career. I had no business experience. I was a school dropout at 16 years old. I had no formal education, no degree, no even qualifications in hairdressing. I worked my way up, learnt on the job. And throughout those years, I had turned up to many disappointing reviews, expecting a higher pay Um, pay review and always leaving very, very disappointed. And it wasn't until my last job that we had, we sat down and had a meeting and they talked to us for the first time about the financials of the business. Here's how much we're making. This is how much we want to get to. How can we close the gap? The challenge is you're talking to a bunch of hairdressers who have only learned the skills to perform their job. To then switch into a business owner mode is a totally different mindset. However, me, Mr. Mrs. (laughs) No experience in business, marketing, digital marketing, client attraction, nothing. This conversation sparked something in me because I thought, okay, If I can help this salon produce more profit, produce more revenue, increase client flow, the business is going to make more money, which means the staff is going to make more money. And if staff are happy, the business is going to really thrive and the staff are going to be super happy that they're actually part of a company that is driven and it is going somewhere. Or if they didn't want to be a part of that, they'll fall off. But that's fine because you're going to attract others who are going to be who are going to be excited about joining something that is growing somewhere. That was my thinking. And so this formed my message. I had no idea how to do it. So I asked my mentors and I went to them. This was we're going back to 2017. And I said, this is my idea. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Please help me. But it meant that every day I showed up, I wasn't about trying to get the content right. I wasn't trying to get the, trying to be perfect and trying to get the right framework so that I could, you know, convey my message. I just went on and said, this is what I want to help with. This is the problem that I see in the industry. This is what I have created and I want to help you to do the same. This is a message. Of course, your message is going to evolve over time. What your message was um, in the beginning of your journey is maybe more evolved um, as you gain more experience. But I think sometimes as we gain more experience, we can start to lose our message and start to become content creators because we want to attract a higher caliber of client or we want to attract a high level target market or we want to try and be over here and we actually forget the human component to who we are, why we are living this way, why we have chosen this way of life, what our beliefs are, what our core values are, just getting on a video and just sharing, no notes or anything and just allowing it to flow because you have something to say. This way, people who are watching will feel it, will feel that it's not scripted, that it's not like frameworked. Because again, when we rely on the frameworks, we lose the human connection. And if we lose the human connection, 
where our message becomes very stale. It can become very boring. And when it's boring, people don't tune in because they don't feel the connection to who we are. This is what your message is. So when we come back, this is a little longer than I had planned to um, record, but we have to come back to our message, where it is that we want to help people what we have personally overcome ourselves and what industry or what type of group of people, what target market do we want to help with that it's going to align with where we are currently at. And usually this is a previous industry. Hint, hint. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that because otherwise this is going to get a little long. If you have any questions around this, then um, send me a DM or either comment below and I will be sure to answer I could literally rattle off for an entire day on this um, because I really understand the importance of that building a relationship with people in your audience over trying to get the offer right, over trying to get content right, over trying to get the frameworks right and like the whole, yeah, it can just get very, very stale and it can make the business journey and your results so much harder and it can be so much easier. So if you would like some help with that, or if you have any questions, send me a DM and just let me know, ask away um, or comment below and I will be in touch.